Spread love everywhere you go. Let no one ever come to you without leaving happier. What's up guys, it's Greg from Pittsburgh Fit. We're gonna go through your PF Go workout for today. So we're gonna start our warm up with two rounds of 10 prisoner good mornings. Anthony's gonna put his hands behind his head. He's gonna hinge over at the hips, keep his back nice and flat, really stretch those hamstrings and squeeze his butt on the way back up. Magical. Now he's gonna go down and do 10 protract retract push-ups, also known as scap push-ups, where he's gonna keep his arms in a nice straight position, his elbows are locked out. He's just lowering and pushing his scaps away from the ground. So he's pushing the floor away, relaxing, pinching his shoulder blades together, pushing the floor away, pinching his shoulder blades together. He's then gonna roll over on his butt, break his neck on that bar, and he's gonna do 10 glute bridges. He's gonna put his heels nice and close to his butt so that when he sticks his heels up and his hips up in the air, his knees are just above his heels right there. He's gonna hold for a second, come back down, tap the ground, squeeze back up. Excellent, we're gonna do that two times. Then we're gonna go over to the box for 10 alternating step ups. He's gonna put one foot on top of that box, lean forward, load that quad, press up, tap that foot on the top and step back down, switch feet, load that quad, tap back down. Once he's done 10 of those on each leg, he will then go and do 10 Russian step ups. So he's gonna plant his left foot up on the box. He's gonna thrust that right knee up into the sky like he's doing some tie bow. He's gonna step back down. We're gonna do five on one leg, switch feet, do five on the other. Then he's going to come back down to the floor. We're going to do 10 tuck ups, everyone's favorite form of sit up. So he's going to lay down, hands stretched out over the head, legs stretched out in front of him. He's going to then squeeze his body together, tuck his knees up into his chest, hence the tuck up, and stretch back out. I like to keep a lot of tension in the system, so I have to keep my shoulders and my heels off the floor the whole time. It'll make it a little bit more challenging, but I feel like the reps can go a little faster. You'll see what I mean when you try it. <clears throat> After two rounds of that, we then get into our strength portion. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do three sets, 10 single arm, single leg, dumbbell, Romanian deadlift. So we're gonna start with a dumbbell in one hand. We're gonna take that left hand, we're gonna plant, dumbbells in the left hand, plant that right foot. Left foot comes up into the air as Anthony hinges over, takes that dumbbell down towards his other foot, and then comes back up. Turn to the side for me, sir, please. If you notice, his foot, his hip, and his shoulders are in a nice straight line the whole time his foot's not coming up before or after his chest is going down keep it nice and straight you want to keep a nice straight form throughout all of these we're going to do 10 on one leg 10 on the other leg this could be a little bit of a balance issue if you need to find something to hold on to just make sure the partner that you grab also has really good balance, otherwise they'll both be falling over and that's gonna be a terrible mess. Then we're gonna go and do 12 to 15 barbell hip thrusters. So we're gonna take a bar, we're gonna put it across our hips. I think it'd be a good idea to use a medicine ball, that way you can get full range of motion here. You're gonna put your back on that med ball just like Anthony has. He's gonna bring his feet up in and he's gonna push his hips up nice and high, make a nice little tabletop there. We can add a little bit of weight to these if you so want to. You don't wanna to go too heavy though. All right, marvelous. Now, time for the moment we've all been waiting for, the workout. What we are doing today is four time. It is a series of uh, movements. We are gonna be doing deadlifts, box jumps, and variations of push-ups. We start with five deadlifts. Anthony's gonna take that bar from his hip. He's gonna hinge over at the waist. Once it gets down to his knees, he's gonna bend his knees, tap those plates to the ground, stand back up with power, keeping his shoulder blades pulled back the whole time. You can do switch grip, you can do match grip, you can do whatever you want. If you want double supinated grip, go for it. I don't recommend that, it's gonna hurt. Anyway, so once he's done five deadlifts, he will go over to the box and before 10 box jumps. He springs from the floor with both feet, lands with both feet on top of that box. You can step down, you can jump down. A variation for this to make it a little bit easier, we can do step ups if we want to. Perfect, so we're gonna do 10 box jumps. Then we'll go and do 15 dumbbell deficit push-ups. So what Anthony's gonna do is he's gonna take those dumbbells we were using earlier, he's gonna place both hands on them, make sure there's enough room between them for his chest to hit the floor. He's gonna tap and press right back up. We're gonna do 15 deficit push-ups. Then we're gonna go back to the deadlifts. Same weight, box jumps. We're gonna do 10 deadlifts this time, 20 box jumps, and then we're gonna go up on the push-ups as well, 30 hand release push-ups this time. So the push-ups are gonna get slightly easier in this case. Well, I don't know, I think hand release are harder than deficit, me personally, but the numbers increase, but the push-ups should be getting easier. Then we have the last round, is gonna be 25 deadlifts. 
30 box jumps, and then we're gonna do 45 push-ups, which is a lot of push-ups, but they're just regular push-ups. So you can crank through those right at the end of this workout. Like I said, it's all for time. You're gonna be cranking through those triplets, and you're gonna have a great time doing it. And I can't wait to watch you all do it. So I'll see you there.